According to a study by the U.S. Department of Education, 32 million adults in the U.S. demonstrate a below basic reading level. Serafina Brooks joins us to spell out the literacy issue here in the Mountain States. This story idea first came about when I was having a casual conversation with a literacy volunteer out of Marion County, and they told me something that stopped me right in my tracks. They said one in five adults within that county cannot read above a fourth grade level. And according to the West Virginia Library Commission, that trend can be found statewide. Write about how adult literacy has changed your life. This is a story of second chances. You want to do a few of the words or you want to just start with the writing thing? We'll choose what you... Okay, here you go. What most of us learn in grade school, Dwayne Johnson is learning in his adulthood. I was in special ed classes from third grade on up. And when I got out of high school, well, I kind of dropped out, but I had a third grade reading level, so I was about 21. According to the literacy volunteers of Marion County, Johnson is not alone. The latest count we have, we do know that one in five adults in Marion County do not read above a fourth grade level. But I do know that it's uh, not just in this county, it's statewide, and I think that's why uh, literacy volunteer programs are so significant. The startling statistic joins a handful of other counties in the entire state. But the question is why? The literacy volunteers of Mongolia and Preston County's website indicates that 20% of West Virginians that struggle with low literacy levels could possibly be caused by a lack of resources in some of the state's rural areas, or possibly a history of some families having to choose between working in the coal mining field or getting an education. For Johnson, his literacy skills fell short for other reasons. They put me in special ed classes when I was in third grade and I was really embarrassed about it so I became like a class clown and started acting up because I didn't want to be in those classes and it was a shame and I didn't know better as a child that you're supposed to ask questions and like really get help. And that's where the volunteers in Marion County step in. Literacy Volunteers of Marion County is a tutoring service which is free to both adults and children. We provide tutoring services in uh, basic literacy, reading, math, writing. Under the volunteer group's direction, in the last seven months alone, Johnson has surpassed even his expectations. For many days we would come and we would just, he would write essays, we would go over them. Then we decided that he needed to work maybe a little more on his spelling and vocabulary. So in the last six weeks we have worked almost entirely on that. But the lesson doesn't end there. While Johnson is getting his life in focus, and even as his site set on college and becoming a professional writer. His teacher, Pam Shanholtz, is also finding new purpose. I retired in November and I had a plan to do something. I wasn't going to just sit around. And I believe that to help somebody learn to read, it opens up a whole new world for them. It was a great blessing to me to be a part of that with these people and with Dwayne especially because he is just such a remarkable story. Ultimately, this literacy group is helping rewrite the state statistics, one word, one sentence, and one person at a time. They're not stuck in a hole somewhere. There's a future for them. It just opened up doors for you that you can't even imagine. I can't even imagine all the stuff that's <laughs> going to be open to me. I just know it's going to be open. The West Virginia Library Commission also states that Mongolia and Putnam counties have the lowest literacy rates in the state. To find literacy classes near you, you can log on to the National Literacy Directory.org. And once again, that was Serafina Brooks. Right now, we're going to take a live